So today we're going to go over the feed processing methods that are common in livestock feeds. Um, these methods include grinding, dry rolling, cracking, and crimping, pelleting, <clears throat> steam rolling, and steam flaking. So first we're going to go over grinding. So grinding is usually done with a hammer mill, which looks somewhat like this. Um, basically it takes in a whole grain product, puts it through various different um, blades and crushers and processors, and produces a feed that is very similar to this. So if you've ever seen corn mill, um, sometimes people even use that, or like grits, that's that same kind of texture, okay? So it's this really fine texture. Um, it can be done in most grains, but it is common with corn. Okay, so it grinds the grains to a very small particle size, so the smallest particle size, which is found in animal feed, um, which drastically increases surface area and rate of digestion. So just think about your own food. The more you chew it up, right, um, the faster your body can absorb those, those nutrients, um, the faster it can absorb that energy. And so we want the same for animals sometimes. So if we're trying to really put on weight on an animal right before fair or something, you're going to want to feed it something with a smaller particle size because it'll um, use less energy in its body to digest the feed because it'll already be somewhat digested, okay? Um, it is a common process for swine and poultry, but it is not commonly used for beef cattle because it decreases palatability, so it's less appetizing to cattle, and increases the potential for ruminal acidosis or bloat, okay? So again, this is what process or er, grinding looks like, what ground grains look like. The next is dry rolling, cracking, and crimping. Um, it is done by passing grain through a set of grooved or corrugated rolls, so something that looks similar to this. Okay, it's got a whole bunch of little grooves in it, um, so it's not going to grind it as fine as grinding, but it is going to roll it, crack it, and crimp it. Uh, the particle size can vary from fine to coarse. It is not frequently used for swine or poultry, um, but it is common for beef and dairy cattle. Okay, so this is most commonly used in cows. Um, this is the best image I could find, but the best, um, this is what dry rolling, cr cracking, and crimping feed looks like. Um, I believe in this image it's barley, um, and it is kind of this larger particle size, but it's still broken down somewhat so that it is, um, easier for digestion. The next is pelleting. So basically it's ground or cracked grain before being steamed. Okay, so it, it, uh, gets all moist and then is forced through a pellet mill, okay? A pellet mill looks somewhat like this. Um, it can produce different sized pellets, but basically it takes kind of this wet mush and creates pellet form. Um, it increases product density and decreases fine particles, which typically decreases wastage. So if you're trying to feed tons of animals, um, this might help with weight gain, but also not with so much waste. Um, it makes grains easier to store and transport as well. Um, it is commonly used in poultry and swine and has been shown to an increase their weight gain and feed efficiency. Um, it is not super cost effective to use in a beef feedlot or on a dairy cattle feedlot, and it is a common way to supplement protein and or energy to range cows and horses. So um, you, it can even be done in cubes um, and fed to range cows and horses to make sure that they're getting the nutrients and feed that they need. Um, pellets are often a blend from various raw materials and additives. Uh, this, they are formulated according to specific requirements for the target animal, so a pellet can have all kinds of different feeds, feed particles, additives in it to make it specific for a specific kind of animal. Um, it can contain a complete diet in each pellet, and it does differ in size depending on animal size. So again, here is that pelleting machine. Um, if you can see, hopefully it's not too blurry, but here is like fish feed pellets, so they're really, really small goat feed, cattle feed, alfalfa pellets, so um, that's probably common with like rabbits, um, pigeon feed pellets, and then rabbit feed pellets. Um, so different feeds, these all are different diets for different animals. Here's a common pelleting. Steam rolling is the next one. So this is the process of exposing grain to steam. So again, making that particle or that food piece um, moist again for one to eight minutes before rolling it. Um, it's also known as crimping or steam crimping, and this may improve palatability 
and animal acceptance in some instances. So this is kind of what steamrolling looks like. Um, basically it takes like that grain particle and makes it flat. So if you've ever eaten steamrolled oats or oatmeal, um, that's that same kind of texture. The last one is steam flaking, and this is the process in which grain is steamed for 15 to 30 minutes and then rolled to produce a really thin flake. Um, this increases starch digestibility because of extensive um, gelatinization and rupture of the starch granules. Okay, um, This improves feed efficiency for corn 7 to 10 percent versus dry rolling or cracking methods. And then is the most common processing method, method utilized in the feedlot industry. So this is the most common, but basically it makes those starches a little more readily available um, and easier to digest for cattle. Okay, and then this is steam flaking. So it just takes that particle, that food piece, and makes it really, really thin.